What is good? Fuck. Good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> These switches were sent over for a honest review. They will be in stock on Canon Keys, which I am affiliated with. You can use the link in the description to help me out. What is good, everyone? Shubes here. Today we'll be looking at these goddamn deviled eggs. Now, you guys might be thinking, Shubes, these are Gatoron Milky Top Yellows. There's literally 50 million reviews on these, and these have existed since the beginning of time and space. Well, you better take a closer look because they aren't your average Milky Tops. These right here are Milky Top Yellows on goddamn steroids, all juiced up, truly constructed in a abnormal manner. These are the Chad Gatoron Yellows known as the Gat Xs. If this shit was part of the X-Men, its special power would probably be the ability to glide on any surface because this shit right here is smooth as fuck. Like real smooth, like goddamn Sakamoto, Gojo, Levi type beat, these things just glide. Now you might be wondering, how are they that smooth, Shoops? What do they do? Do they sprinkle some fucking magic on there? Well, as I said before, these are indeed built different and include some features that I don't often find in many switches. The Gatoron X's feature a standard milky top which is a nylon blend with a nylon black bottom and a standard Gat yellow spring which is 60 to 65 gram ish bottom out. However where it greatly differs from your regular Gatoron milky tops is the stem and its unique bottom. The stem the switch uses is actually a Gatoron Pro stem made from a Gat Pro stem mold which was requested to be polished before the first production run with the material being standard palm. Additionally, the bottom housing features polished rails, yes it is actually polished, making it shiny as fuck, as well as a polished inner pole area which you can't really see clearly but it's there. With all this polishing, this thing has a smooth and slippery surface to glide across and right out of the box. You can notice that quite a bit as these come unlooped but I can still feel the smoothness however once you loop these up they really go to the next level but you know what else is smooth my experience building a website with Squarespace this video is sponsored by Squarespace Squarespace is the number one platform for building a website online I am still in the process of setting up a website for myself as well as a platform to list my stickers and other things and Squarespace has really made the whole process easy there are a ton of templates to choose from and designing a site is as doing a hot swap build or you know buying and wasting money on keyboards <laughs> Their e-commerce tools let you create listings easily and they offer a wide range of more advanced options for people that know a little bit more as well. If you're looking to make a website, you can use the link in the description for a free trial and you can also use code SHOOPS for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring the video and now back to the review. Anyways, here are the switches we'll be comparing these Gatoron X's to as you can see the details on the switch through my scuffed editing skills and uh yeah welcome to another scuffed stem wobble test we're gonna keep it short just try out a few switches from different manufacturers but please keep in mind that there's switch variants and all that so this isn't very accurate but the get pros are a little bit wobbly i would recommend filming them the epsilons which is manufactured by jwk a little bit wobbly but decently tight alpaca v2s J jwk as well the same. The Zaku's are the tightest out of the bunch. Texi switches are very very tight. Uh, I don't think they need films at all. Uh, the Gatoron inks, the uh, standard Gatoron yellow milky tops and the KS3's are all around the same. Out of all of these I would recommend filming the Zaku's or uh, not filming the Texi switches such as the Zaku's and the JWK's its preference, but the Gatorons I would recommend filming. Before we start the sound test, I want to note, like I always do, that the sound test is not very accurate. Just take it with a grain of salt. Everybody's setup, case, uh, room acoustics, desk setup, mic setup, and all that is different. So uh, let's get it started.
So in terms of the sound profile, uh, I'll be real honest here, these sound pretty much the same as Gehidron Milky Tops. Well, without the undertones of slight scratch, of course. However, that makes the most sense. These are using the same materials after all. I would put them right here in between the deep and really high pitch category. It's a, it's a nice middle ground. In terms of smoothness though, oh baby, these are top tier. These go straight to the smooth end of the list. I might come and say that these might be one of the smoothest switches that I've ever tried when lubed, beating even the Tangies. But with the batch variants and all that in mind, I will say as a whole, these are in the same tier as the really, really smooth category. And, um, well, all I can say is these are smooth as fuck. Um, and the NK creams, they weren't in the Switch review comparison this time, but I had to put them in there because... These are the king of scratch, and uh, it's polar opposites. Okay, so what are my overall thoughts on this Switch? These Switches go for around 57 cents per Switch and are in stock. This is a pretty significant price hike from your regular Milky Top Gator on Yellows, which run pretty dirt cheap at around 20 cents a Switch or so, around double the price actually for these. In terms of sound, you won't get too much of a significant change, which is actually not a bad thing. Gator on Milky Tops have had a cult following, much like Cherry Switches for a long time now, and for many people, the classic Milky Top sound is something that they swear by. However, in terms of smoothness, like I kept mentioning again and again, these are by far one of the smoothest switches that I've ever tried when lubed properly. I recommend lubing the rails as well as the stem with a gener not a generous but a considerable amount. Um, I would do little by little uh, at a time to s and then put it together and check because it takes a little bit of um, trial and error but once you get it r just right it's it's dead smooth it's like really really good but um, these are definitely one or if not the smoothest Gatoron switches that I've personally laid my hands on the only other Gatoron switch that I've tried that came to this almost level of smoothness and sound was the Tan Gatoron Tangi V2s uh, shout out to Chippy for sending me over a bunch of Gatoron switches for my collection appreciate it but um, these are very old, so I won't really be talking about it. It was for just for personal experience, but these are very, very good. So what are my recommendations? Um, who what I recommend this switch to? I think this switch is perfect for those Gatoron Milky Top yellow enjoyers that really like that sound and want the best possible version of that switch in the market, because these are definitely that. Also, I think these are a great switch if you just want to try some crazy smooth switches that sound pretty good because they are also that as well. However, if smoothness doesn't matter to you and you just want a cheaper, nice sounding switch and you prefer to break it in to, you know, make it smooth yourself, just your regular Gatoron Milky Tops will be what you're looking for. Overall, I think the Gatoron Xs are a much needed upgrade to the classic Milky Top lineup from Gatoron in the best possible way. They kept the signature sound while amping up the smoothness of the switches up to the max. I'm quite happy with these, I definitely want to see that polishing technique utilized more on other Gatoron switches as well. These get a seal of approval. God damn, these are smooth. Thank you so much for checking out the video till the end. We hit a 66k. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. We're growing every day. Um, more Switch reviews, more comedy videos, and more keyboard videos, and yada, yada, yada on the way soon. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.